hello guys and happy sunday and today is also tesla day i'm wearing my tesla shirt made on earth by humans i'm so excited i'm not getting a tesla mitch is getting a tesla but i'm going with him so support and i'm excited to ride in it and drive it even though it drives itself i'm so excited What are we doing? I don't know. Let's check the front, let's check the front. happy monday today i have school i have class in a few minutes um, i'm doing an online program but we still have to log in through zoom and be present in lecture um, during the actual class time and we are supposed to dress business casual for the program and i'm not gonna lie i have been slacking the past couple of weeks and i have not been wearing makeup or anything like that but we got called out the other day so i'm gonna try to look presentable i actually like blew out my hair just so i look a little bit better and i'm just gonna throw some stuff on my face now um i'm not gonna put foundation on or anything but i am going to use this uh super gloop super gloop super goop glow screen it's a tinted sunscreen i like this because it's a sunscreen and it does have blue light protection and because i'm sitting in front of the computer for so long i think it's important to use something that does protect against blue light i'm gonna use a charlotte tilbury flawless finishing powder just to kind of not make me look so so dewy now i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow just a little now for my brows i'm just gonna brush them up i'm just gonna use the hourglass the arch i love this this is my favorite brow gel now this is kind of random but when i don't feel like putting on like a full lash of mascara but i still want my lashes to be perked up a little bit um i'll just apply mascara just ever so slightly to the tip of my lashes and this is the liquid lash extensions from thrive cosmetics as for my outfit i've been in a t-shirt and a short all day so Let's go ahead and fix that and let's see if I can get this to work. A 
I guess the pajamas are here to stay. Okay, but all jokes aside, I do um, stay with my pajamas on, bottom half usually, or with anything else that's not business casual because they only see you from, you know, your shirt up. And I usually use these sun, uh, not sunglasses, these blue light blocking glasses from Key. It kind of like has a yellowish tint to everything. If you use nighttime mode for your devices, like on your MacBook Pro, on your iPhone, iPad, whatever, I don't know if other devices have that option to do that. It should be okay. Uh, but sometimes I just throw on the glasses, number one, because I feel like it makes you look more put together a professional and for the sake of eye health uh, blue light another thing that it does is that you know it, it over time um, it can damage your eyes if you're staring at a screen for too long so i find that it helps me not strain my eyes so much and i usually don't have as bad of a headache after being at my computer for a long time when i wear these so it definitely helps um, i'm gonna look into getting some blue light prescription glasses because i do wear contacts but Anyway, I think that that really helps. Um, so now I'll show you guys my desk and then I'm gonna go to class. Okay, this is my desk area. I have it in this corner of my room. Here is my school dog. Just kidding, Bronco just keeps me company. Um, I have my desk here and a little Ikea cabinet over here. My chair, keep a jacket if I get cold. I have my microphone uh, connected to my desk just for when I film uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I have my laptop over here and Static John, courtesy of just Static John. This is how school makes me feel. And Mochi the Pug, if you know, you know. I have this laptop stand that I got on Amazon and I feel like it just helps with my posture when I'm looking at a video or in class. It's not that great for typing but it is nice to have it a little bit higher at eye level. Um, I have a little tiny diffuser here, and this is a really cool LED lamp that I got off of Amazon also. Um, my nail lady, which is actually a guy, has this at his salon, and I love this because you can change the settings depending on what type of light you like. You can increase or decrease the intensity. You can set a timer, and it also has a little USB port. So that's where I connect my tiny diffuser. I have my iPad. I have a whiteboard here where I like to write things out when I'm studying and my little cabinet that's kind of a mess. Hello and happy Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. I had such an unproductive Monday yesterday. Um, I didn't do anything of the things that I wanted to do. The only thing I actually did was go to an eye doctor appointment because I need a new prescription for my contacts and for my glasses. And I went to Warby Parker for the first time. They actually do eye exams there and it was such an easy experience. I really liked it. Um, but I didn't vlog that because I'm not used to this, so I forgot to. But anyway, I tried on some frames and picked out the one I liked. And since I was at the mall and I hadn't really been to the mall, like to walk around in a really long time, and I hadn't gone to Sephora in a really long time, I went to Sephora. I just got some random stuff. I got the Summer Fridays cc me serum that i've been wanting to try for a really long time i actually already opened it and tried it it's very heavy this is what it looks like i thought it would be more of a vitamin c serum but i don't think it's like a conventional vitamin c serum it's called a cc me serum it says it improves the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation it has vitamin C and squalene. All right, we're gonna try it out and see how it works. I've used vitamin C in the past. I don't have a lot of hyperpigmentation, um, but I'll use anything that's gonna make me look more radiant. I just got this little guy from Supergoop. I've been kind of on a SPF kick lately, and this is a mineral um, SPF. So it's a physical block. It's a setting powder wand and I wanted to get things from the new Selena Gomez Rare Beauty line 
but I'm back in school and I'm working part-time so my budget said otherwise but I did get her eyeliner and look how beautiful this packaging is like it has a little gold detail thing right here it's just so beautiful so it's like a looks like a little felt tip thing I'm gonna have to try that out later I'm excited and then I wanted to get a brow product from Anastasia but they recommended a different one instead from Urban Decay and this is um, like an eyebrow pen kind of like the glossier one that you kind of draw on I had one from Milk that I got that has the three little like pinstripes on it but I don't really like that one so I wanted to get one that looks like an eyeliner like a little tip this one is cool because it's double ended it has the little pen side and then it has like an actual um, pencil oh I almost forgot to show you guys I got this book bag from Nordstrom Rack the other day I saw it online and I fell in love and I had to go get it it's excuse me Bronco it's neoprene material and I love that it has so many pockets um, ow, and it has a laptop sleeve I'm doing school online right now but next semester I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have to go to campus so I was like let me get a book bag and I love that it's like a leopard cheetah print inside it has a little laptop sleeve and I think that this is really nice for traveling also I just no no I like it and I like that the um, hardware on it is like this dark gunmetal color this is by a brand that I had never heard of before um, it's Amy Kestenberg but you know I love my cheap finds this bag is normally $128 and I got it for $37 falling on a budget I'll see you guys later hello everybody and happy Thursday I didn't talk to you on Wednesday because I forgot I was so busy with school but let me show you this this is Bento it is a vitamin subscription service, vitamin and supplement subscription service. So they send you a 30 day pack with a bunch of little tiny um, individually wrapped vitamins, depending on what you need. You go on their website at mybento.com and you fill out a questionnaire um, based on your medical history and what type of supplements you're looking to incorporate, incorporate into your diet. Um, if there's anything that your physician wants you to take. So for example, look how cute it has my name on it. <laughs> my nails broke off by the way. Well, one of them broke and then I took the rest of them off. Well, I cut them off because they were my actual nails. So that sucks. But um, anyway, I got um, this little green guy is a prebiotic and a probiotic, which is great for your gut health, for vaginal health. And it says on there that it helps with mental health. So I have to read a little bit more about that and how that plays a role. But um, I also got two multivitamins and a fish oil type supplement. And it's really cute because it brings a little insert thing here. Well, a few of them. It tells you read our tips and it gives you some tips on how to take your supplements, what the best options are, like not taking it on an empty stomach that sort of thing, different things that you'll experience when taking this. It says five ways to know your symbiotic is working. You'll have more regular bowel movements, TMI, but hello, we're all human. Decrease in anxiety and better mood, <laughs> I need it. Fewer sugar and carbohydrate cravings, <sighs> I definitely need that. Increased energy, I really, really, really need that. And this one's not so fun, but it's an increase in gas, bloating, and constipation. And that just is kind of like because your gut is resetting itself. So until your gut flora starts to kind of stabilize. Okay, right now I am just meal prepping for my dog. You heard that right. Here he is. Hey, Bronco. He's at Bronco the Pug on Instagram. Feel free to follow him. I have some chicken breast boiling in here along with some sweet potatoes, zucchini, 
carrots, the broccoli, brown rice, and I just kind of let this simmer for a bit, let some of the water evaporate, and cook up the veggies. And then when the chicken is cooked through, I will shred it up so it's a little bite-sized for him. So I like to make sure that he always has greens. So right now we have the broccoli and the zucchini, and I always add something orange. So I'll do carrots, burnout squash, sweet potato, um, whatever veggies I have, as long as they're safe for him, uh, make sure that he has a good variety of nutrients. I will either do chicken or turkey for him just because that's what works best for his tummy. Sometimes if I give him beef, um, it doesn't sit very well with him. And I always like to add turmeric. It has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties and pugs actually are known for having a lot of joint issues. So try to prevent that in my little guy. Hi guys, I muted this clip, but I just wanted to show you guys how excited Bronco gets to eat his food and he always eats everything and licks his bowl clean. So at the end of the week, I had to work, so I didn't really vlog much, but I'm going to end the video right here and here is me typing away. Bye, thanks for watching.